Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Cotton Kitten. I do a variety of different videos, mostly pet play and lifestyle content. Um, today, I'm doing a fall little like collective haul. I got a comment on a video I made like probably two plus years ago. That was a little fall like collective haul. They were like, you should do one this year. And I'm like, you know what? You're right, I should. This is a collection of things that I've gotten over the past couple months. I have home decor, I have clothes, I have shoes, I have pet play gear. So we're just gonna go through it all. Fair warning, a lot of this stuff is thrifted, but if it is not thrifted, I can link it down below. Um, if it's still, it's available online anywhere. So I guess like the first category I'm doing is home decor because I don't have a ton of it, I guess. The first thing that I have are these little gold metal roses. I picked these up at a thrift store. This one is actually kind of like fucked up at the bottom a little bit because um, I think my dog knocked it over. But I was thinking that these would be really cute to use for some type of like wedding decor because I am planning my wedding. They were $5.99 a piece, which is a little expensive, but I don't really know what they are. They're, they're just these little, <laughs> they're cute. So I was like, mm, I'll try it. Obviously I'm gonna use them for something in my house too, but um, the more that I can like thrift and repurpose, the better. Um, because weddings are really expensive. I don't like it. Along the same line, this actually still has some stuff in it that I need to clean out. It has some like glue on the bottom, but I got this little bird cage, which I think would be cute if I filled it with like flowers and um, maybe some other things. It does open, if I can get it to open right now. Ha, huh, it opens. Um, this was also $5.99, I want to say. Yeah, it still has a tag on it. <laughs> this is $5.99 from the same thrift store as those little metal roses. Um, I am going to give that birdcage a coat of spray paint before I use it for anything because it's a little, like, it's a little rusted at the top. And I'm like, I am not going for that vibe at my wedding. So I got these little ghosts. They still have the tags on them. I have two of them. These are from Dollar Tree and these are so cute. Oh my God. I literally didn't even know that these lit up. I just bought them because like that is adorable. Um, I think Home Goods and some other expensive store like Pottery Barn or whatever. One of those places, one of the expensive home stores that's like ridiculously overpriced. They are selling big versions of these. Also, I saw something similar to this at Rite Aid, and I'm like, when did Rite Aid get like cute Halloween stuff, but whatever. I got little rainbow lights in there. They're actually really bright, so um, don't blind yourself. But yeah, these were a dollar a piece. 10 out of 10. <laughs> um, I would recommend going to Dollar, dollar Tree and getting some of these. Very cute. The next thing that I got, I also got at Dollar Tree. Um, I just kind of picked these up because I thought they were interesting. They're like little tool and wire pumpkins. And I actually really like these. So I'm hoping that I can grab a couple more just to kind of sprinkle around uh, when we do some like wedding decor stuff because we're having a fall wedding. Um, they light up. They don't look this like shit. You know what I mean? Um, and we're kind of going to have an outdoor wedding. So this could probably be thrown in there. I don't know. They were dollar. I want to see how nice I can make them look. I don't know. Kind of in the stage where I'm like trying to figure out what I want for decor. I have a couple colors down, but decor? Who is she? I don't know what I want. So last thing that I got from Dollar Tree, this is really random, but I had been wanting this and I literally was like, oh my God, it's finally here. I was so excited when I found this. Um, it is the little pin board. It has a strawberry on it. I was gonna get two of them, but then I was like, I don't buy pins. So <laughs> I only got one. Um, currently it just has two pins on it. And these are old uh, little lichen pins. This one just says pet me. And then this one says 100% puppy. So yeah, I can finally get some pins and actually have a place to store them. 
that's so cute. So I found this, this boy, this bad boy at the thrift store. He was $9.99 I think, but it's a metal pumpkin lantern and you can put like a little tea light in him. Um, the glaze is like really pretty. As you can see, it's like all different colors. And I was like, oh my God, I've never seen like a Halloween decoration like this before. It's really pretty. Um, so yeah, love him. He's actually out in my living room right now. So that's where he will be going once I'm done with this video. This is something that I got when my mom came up to visit. Oh no, don't come off. We went out uh, thrift shopping and, and stuff. And I found this at a little antique store. Um, this is real flowers uh, encapsulated in 24 karat gold from Hawaii. I didn't even realize these were orchids. I love orchids. Oh my god. Okay. Maiden hair fern, epidendrum orchid, and I think that's a Wanda orchid. It looks like an O. I can't tell. That's awesome. Another fucking orchids. I didn't even realize that. I have been obsessed with orchids since I was like 12. Uh, the last thing that I got from a thrift store, home good wise, is this little bat. And I know this is not really like uh, home decor, but it is for me. Um, I already had one of these, so when I saw another one, I had to grab him too, because he's really cute. Um, let's see what his name is. Beastie. I have this other one. I believe this is from my late grandma's house. Um, so I have them together on my little spooky shelf and they're very cute. I love them. They make me very happy. <laughs> oh, I actually really like Halloween Beanie Boos now. So I'm like looking at getting a couple more. Uh, my whole shelf has like Halloween Beanie Babies because my grandma used to display some growing up. So when she passed away, I was like, yeah, I think I need to keep some of these. So sorry to get like dark. Uh, I hope that's not really dark. I'm <laughs> whatever. All right. So next thing this is a wreath hanger holder thing this is from michael's um i needed a wreath holder so i just got this one with bats on it because i love bats um we have a wreath that's actually on my door you can't see it but we got it at target last year and we realized we didn't have a wreath holder so i got one this year <laughs> also from michael's i got these Beautiful little babies. These are hanging uh, bats with a little twine that you can hang them from. And they are so cute. I got two um, different like styles, I guess. They were $14.99 a piece, but I got 20% off when I bought them. And if you can still find them in the store, I believe they're starting to do like 40% off, 50% off of Halloween. So get yourself some bats. I watched a haul video where somebody got these and I was obsessed with them the second I saw them. Another thing from Michaels that matches those little bats. This is tiny uh, bat, like bat wing tray, I think. Yeah, these are like, they look like bat wings. I don't know, they're bat wings. Um, they had this and they also had one that was more like raven feathers because they had a lot of raven stuff. But obviously I was gonna get the bat one to match my bats. I couldn't just leave this after I saw it. Um, so this is also $15.99. Again, I had 20% off because I used an online thing, an online coupon. But yeah, it's like the same texture as the bats. And it's pretty, it's pretty sturdy. Not super heavy because it's like plastic, I think. I don't know. But yeah, it's very cute. Um, the last thing I got from Michaels is just like this tiny little thing. Um, this is like a little box that lights up. It's actually really bright. Um, yeah, it's green. It lights up and I had the idea to spray paint this and then get some like black moss to put inside and use as our like ring box uh, for our wedding or just to like store our wedding rings. So yeah, I think that's very cute. We'll see how it turns out. Um, if it looks like absolute garbage, I'm not gonna use it, but I'm not gonna use it for my wedding, but I don't think it'll be that bad. I think it'll be kind of cute. Maybe I could put some like little gems on the spider web. I don't know, something, something fun. These are a more like summer purchase, like maybe like right before it was September. Um, 
I found these in the store and I was like, I need them. Um, I saw them online a while before I found them and I was just kind of like, I want these, but I don't want to spend money right now. And then I regretted it and I was like, God damn it. I want those little ghost pillows because they look like a little couple and i love spooky couple stuff i love like the skeleton like wedding stuff it's just it's bad okay so i got these and i they remind me of my partner and i so yeah cute we're little ghost pillows i think these are like 29.99 for both of them so not terrible and they're like really soft and sturdy so very cute i love them now we're gonna get into clothing excuse uh the potential dog hair that is on them i did just set a pile of clothes on my floor which i have a big dog it's got a lot of hair i went to run fest this year and there were a lot of different like vendors and little stores and stuff and i didn't expect to buy a dress because I thought everything was going to be ridiculously expensive and like a lot of it was but this dress was not because they were on clearance um so this is the dress that I got it's more like a midi to maxi dress because the front is shorter and then the back is longer and it has this little lace detailing on the front I like it because it looks like it kind of looks like a little bat if you squint your eyeballs um and the sleeves are ruched right here and then there are these like big flowy bell sleeves and i am absolutely obsessed with this dress oh my god it looks so good um so the back has like this lace up detailing so, but yeah it just feels really nice really good quality so this was 58 dollars when I asked how much uh, this dress would be, and the lady told me $58, I was like, I'm trying this on. Um, like I said, because I thought everything was going to be a lot more expensive. And a lot of things were, but this was not. So I was very happy about that. Next dress, this is actually the dress that I wore to Renfest, which I need to figure out how to wash it because you now it's got like glitter and stuff on it. Um, but this is a dress I wore to Renfest and believe it or not, this is actually from Shein. I had been wanting this dress forever and I was like, fine, I'll, I'll do it because if I don't like it, I can return it, right? It was 20 bucks bucks for my new favorite dress are you kidding me and this is so nice and flattering and i love the little the little floof on the skirt i love the puff sleeves the the chest is really flattering um it's got this little lace up thing obviously it's not like an actual like cincher kind of thing but it's cute um the back is like stretchy it's this little like ruched kind of fabric so it's really stretchy i got this in a large because i get most of my stuff from from most places honestly in a large just because i got boobs and i got a bigger waist um so yeah this is a large 10 out of 10 very freaking cute i love this so much i literally almost cried when i put it on i actually got the package of stuff that i ordered when i had covid because i had covid like a month ago it was not fun at all i literally don't know where we got it i'm 99 percent sure we got it when our power went out and we had to go out to eat because there was no restaurants open anywhere like no fast food because we didn't have power that's besides the point this is a top that i ordered it's a little red and black like bralette kind of top and i usually don't go for bralette tops uh from shein ever because the cups can be very strange but this is actually quite 
flattering on me and I really like it and it was like nine bucks so oh it has a tie with it okay well I obviously haven't opened this yet because it is for Halloween content this is terrible fucking fabric oh my god <laughs> why is it so bad oh I got a striped like blazer so I can do some like uh beetlejuice action for content uh purposes <laughs> it comes with a little tie so that's kind of fun but this fabric is terrible i don't know if you can tell but like yeah see if you know what that fabric feels like you know so yeah i got that that was probably like nine bucks um the last thing that i got is my favorite thing other than the dress um look at this shirt um i have no idea how you're supposed to wash this maybe like hand wash again this is like eight bucks and what the fuck it's so cute oh i didn't say i got these both in a large now on to kind of like thrift did things. Went through a phase where I wanted a bunch of like white clothes because I'm like, I'm engaged, I'm a bride. Like, give me all the white clothes. Cause I don't own white clothes. I wear black all the time, you've seen me. Um, it, that ended quickly. Excuse the cat and dog hair, this was literally in my laundry. So, there, it's just, it's all over my house. Um, so this top is just a little tank with gems around the collar. And this is by Perfect Fit and it's a size small. It's very cute. Um, I like it. I need to, I needed some like basic uh, black tank tops and such to wear with like my little skirts and stuff. I'm usually a tank top girly all year round because I now take, uh, it's actually not an SSRI. Okay, I'm on SSRI so your girl gets really sweaty. Uh, so I wear tank tops. Um, I don't know if I'm keeping this or not. Basically, I don't know if I can deal with the texture of it, but it is this really cute, um, like Y2K kind of tank top. It's super long. I used to wear shirts like this all the time as a kid. My arms touching like the graphic, it makes me want to die. So, I don't know if I'm keeping this, but it, the brand is called Fang, and this is a size large. This shirt is, like, freaking awesome. Um, you know I had to buy this. Like, come on. This is from the brand Just Love, which, like, the tag looks, like, really shitty. <laughs> Look at that. Um, and it's a size small. It's really stretchy. It, I, yeah. I haven't worn this yet either just because I didn't know where it was until today when I dug it out of my laundry. <laughs> so the last thing actually that I have that's kind of in between like clothing and accessories is this little um, like corset kind of belt. It's not an actual corset because it has these like stretchy uh, elastic spandex things on the side it just like buttons in the back so, oh my god this is my new favorite thing it's so good i think i got this for like 15 dollars on amazon yeah this this is my new favorite thing i need more big belts like this it's so good i'm gonna do the few accessories i have the first one is this little beetle ring this is from Shein. It was literally a dollar. So the next thing that I got are these little bat earrings. I literally am gonna have to zoom you in to see these. They're just tiny little bats. Uh, they're black, purple, and white. And my partner actually made a comment that was like, nice ace bat. I didn't even notice that. I bought these at a thrift store. The next one is this ring. I got this at Renfest just little like wrapped uh stainless steel ring i don't know the shop that i got it from and i don't know if they're just a local thing or if they're like an international thing i think i have a business card um because i was talking to the lady in there about like a wedding band um but yeah 
got in a size 8 because I'm typically a size 7, but the 7 that I tried on was like a little, a little tight, and I'm like, mm, no. The next thing, very exciting, very, very exciting thing. Uh, I got some shoes. <laughs> now, let me tell you the backstory on these shoes, okay? Um, I had some credit, some store credit for a store that shall not be named because I don't really like supporting them. Um, and every time I've ordered from them in the past like two, three years, I literally haven't liked any of the stuff that I bought. So I've had to return it and keep getting this store credit. Anyways, I had like $50, $60 in store credit. Irritating, cool. I was like, okay, maybe eventually I'll get a pair of Demonias use up my store credit. Cool, right? Um, so there was a sale and it included Demonias for once. So I ended up getting these boots for $14, including shipping. So these are the Camel, 311s, 311, 311s, whatever, in black. Oh, I just stabbed myself. Surprisingly, these actually fit my calves like really well, literally perfectly. Um, and I tightened the laces a bit. These are probably my favorite pair of Demonias that I own. I have already worn these like probably like three times since I got them. Um, cause it just, it was hot when I got them. So I've just started wearing them now. Um, they are super cute i got them in a size nine and they fit perfectly i get all my demonies in a size nine um if you're like half size i would say size up to the next full size so now now we're on to the fun shit now we're on to the pet play gear i guess i will start with the one thing that i got from run fest i got this tail um it's a real fox tail and it's just all black i have been wanting an all black fox tail for a long time because i have a black and like blue tipped one but i wanted an all black one and i found some really pretty ones there so i was like yeah and my partner actually got like a little um like leather cuff from the same shop so i was like yep yeah, i'll just pick one up i'm very happy that i got this this was 20 dollars, i think which is on par with like the prices i've seen elsewhere i bought a bundle from somebody who's actually in the same like state as me which is really cool um and they were really sweet and sold these ears to me so the bundle included three different like species of ears these are from witchy kitty shop kittens and honey um these are cow ears with little purple inners and I'm gonna use these for a cow look at some point. So it's good to have a pair of cow ears because I've been needing one um, for content purposes, even though I don't like identify with that species. Uh, the next two I do though, I got these Woodland Creature Sunset Kitten Ears. Listen, I am so happy to have these. I have loved these for so long and they're just, they're so dreamy. Literally have never seen anything like that coloring wise. I had been wanting a pair of older Hoshikins Bunny Ears. Um, ever since I like discovered that I was a bunny too in pet play, um, I had been wanting a pair of these like older baby buns from Hoshikins. <sighs> like I'm frothing at the mouth. Look at them. They are so cute. And they have like a little, a little paw print charm. It's flipped around. You can't see. I might change this to like a silver one, but yeah, cause I think the piercings are silver. I might change the charm to like a little silver one, but and they have gray backs and they're just, they are so perfect. Literally all of these ears are so perfect. I was like crying the day that I opened them up. It's rough day, um, but that made it so much better. She also included these little, these little bows that have uh, tiny frogs on them. 
super cute. And last but not least, I just got these like yesterday or the day before. These are from Puni Koi. Again, uh, they're little navy kitten ears. They were doing a clearance sale on all of their ears. They're, they're done making them for a while, um, if not indefinitely. So I was like, mm, I need to get one more pair of kitten ears because I really like their shape. Um, so yeah, these are just some navy blue ones. If you know me, I love navy blue. I love dark colors, but this is one of my favorite colors specifically. And yeah, they're, they're really beautiful. So yeah, that is it for my little collective haul. Not so little collective haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. All of my social media is linked in the description box down below. As always, if you want to come and hang out with me. Uh, other than that, I hope you guys are having a great fall so far. I'm very happy that it is now October. Um, I'm gonna go maybe make some spooky cookies. I love you guys so much. I will see you all in my next video. Bye!